Okay, this is Dr. Krauss with yet another uh, video on Python and so on and so forth for engineering students. Um, for my automatic controls class especially, kind of also for mechatronics, we're gonna need the control package, the Python control package. And I wanna talk about how to get that installed specifically in this video on Windows um, for Spider and Anaconda. So my assumption is that you have installed Anaconda, sorry, I'm forgetting to, there we go. So share my screen, yes. Okay, so my assumption is that you have installed uh, Python via Anaconda and it's your default Python installation. One way to check that would be to open up a Windows PowerShell. Sorry, I've got a shortcut to that. Let me show you the hard way to do that. So if I go to a little search box and type PowerShell, the Windows PowerShell is like the uh, command.exe replacement. And if I just type Python into that box, what I see on mine is it'll tell me what Python version, but then it also specifically tells me that mine came from Anaconda. And so if that's the case, then things are going well. If that's not the case, we probably have to uninstall a different version of Python on your computer or change the order of things in your system windows path or something like that. But if you're there, then um, first of all, you can kind of verify that you have the problem that I'm about to address by launching Spider or the IPython terminal. Either would work and the IPython terminal would be slightly shorter. But if you said import control, it says no module named control. Now one other way thing you can check, if you port import sys, sys.path is the list of all of the folders that Python knows to look in um, when it's looking to import something. And we don't see anything kind of control specific in this list and everything looks like it's an Anaconda related list. So I'm definitely running Anaconda and Spider. So I'm gonna close this for now. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna Google Python dash control, but I specifically kind of know that I want the one that's on GitHub. So I'm gonna Google Python dash control dot GitHub and go here. Ultimately, when you're trying to install a Python package from the command line or from PowerShell, you need a file called setup.py. And so here on GitHub, I'm gonna download a zip file of this package and it's gonna save into my um, downloads folder and then I'm going to show that and I've already downloaded it once so if I double click on that it will unzip oh wait a minute let me go over here and right click and say extract all and it's kind of silly because I've already done it but now I'm in this folder and I browse to where I can see the setup.py file so this is the folder that I want to be in so I'm going to come up here and click and copy that path and then I'm gonna to go to the Windows PowerShell. I'm gonna type CD and I'm gonna hit right click. Um, it's mad at me because there's a space in the file name. That space is only there because I downloaded it more than once and put a parentheses one around it. Um, this is a little bit of a blooper time here for me. Okay, and so there I'm at, and if I typed dir or maybe ls, I guess ls seems to work in Windows if nothing else durable. I see this setup.py file. So now I need to type Python setup.py. I auto completed with a little tab and it was the second thing. So make sure you got setup.py and not setup.config. Setup.py install hit enter and it copies a whole bunch of stuff and lastly it says this is kind of the main yep we did what we we're supposed to do and it installed it into c colon slash anaconda slash lib slash bytes packages Python dev 2.7 egg. Um, now if you, that's what you should see if you installed Anaconda and you installed it for everyone, if you only installed it for yourself, it probably went to C colon slash users slash your username slash Anaconda. And now the, I know that I have it done correctly. If I can launch Spider, and we'll check two things. Um, the biggest, um, way to know for sure is if I can type import control and it just works. Um, we'll test that out in a minute, but also I can say import sys and I can look at sys.path 
and it added this little guy to the top of my list that was not there before. Um, and then I could make up a natural frequency of five hertz and a damping ratio of 0.1, and I can create a transfer function. G equals control that transfer function omega n squared. And then this is a list of coefficients. So this is s squared, two zeta omega n s plus omega n squared. And so I do that and I create a time vector. And this is all already in my history because I was trying it earlier. Um, and then I do the control dot step response and then I plot that and bam. There is a lightly damped second order step response starting at zero, ending at one with five cycles in a second. So it's a five hertz Z equal 0.1 step response. Mm -hmm. So I think that's all that you need to know. Um, so yeah, basic steps were download the zip file from Python control on GitHub with this download zip, extract all, browse into, that guy find the setup.py file and get the folder that contains it open up a powershell cd to that folder um, and then run python setup.py install and that should be all it takes thanks